Welcome to uh, Coping with Stub. It's been a while, I'm sorry. Um, so today, we are going to do a uh, little uh, meat fest with uh, some roasted potatoes and greens as sides. Um, we're going to be doing some back to back ribs in the smoker along with some smoked bologna and I'm going to show you all how to make fat boys. So, with baby back ribs, there's like three ways you can do this. Some people don't peel the membrane off the back of the ribs. Some people score the membrane on the back of the ribs. Some people don't even mess with the membrane on the back of the ribs. Um, I peel my membrane. It comes off really easy. After you've uh, rinsed your ribs off, I start running through here at the short point, don't cut yourself, and just get your knife, or you can do it with a spoon, right underneath that, that skin, and then get your finger underneath it, and then just grab a hold, there it goes. If you want to do hash marks, I'll do hash marks on one. Sit there, and you're, you're just gonna cut across the membrane like this. This way, whether you're grilling them or you're smoking them, the membrane on the back will peel back. And it's, honestly, I think this is more work than actually peeling the membrane off. But there's that one. Smoke bologna. This is just a, I think it was like $2.99 roll bologna at the local Kroger's. It might be Tennessee Pride, I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be real honest with you here. I'm about to tell you some finer points of peeling the rind off of the bologna. So make you a shallow cut. So if you just peel straight up, you are going to take meat with you. You don't want to do that. You want, you want to love the bologna. But if you peel it back against itself, you won't have any loss of meat. So then, you're going to cut little cross marks. Very shallow, just barely run your knife across the top of the bologna. Because we're about to season bologna. What I do, I just take the same thing that I put on ribs, spice for spice, and I put on the bologna. Before we season anything up, I'm going to show you how to make fat bologna. Fat boy, take your roll, regular breakfast sausage. Now you can do them with cheese or without cheese. And we'll do one of each. So basically, all you're doing is smoking a whole roll of plain old breakfast sausage. It totally changes the flavor of the breakfast sausage. Is it's crazy. It's really good. It's simple to do. Everybody seems to like it. Okay, flatten out your sausage a little bit if you're going to do cheese. I'm using a uh, smoked gouda with bacon. And I'm just going to cut off a little knob. And I'm just going to sit it right there. Would you like to try the smoked gouda with bacon? I would love to try the smoked gouda with bacon. It's, it's really good. I want to try this one. Here you go. It looks like you're giving it to the audience. <laughs> mm. It's really good. It's a good uh, It's a good gouda. This is why you use plastic wrap. Hold your sauce because you got to roll it back up. Hold your sausage up on the ends. If you worked at Taco Bell, you have an advantage. 
I've never worked at Taco Bell. Make sure your sausage is all sealed up so your cheese is not going to leak out. And there's a fat boy with cheese. Okay, now we're seasoning meat. Normally, I make just a little regular rub, just brown sugar, garlic, some seasoned salt, some Cajun seasoning, a little bit of paprika. Stuff like that but I went to Sam's the other day and I seen this pork barrel barbecue over at Sam's and um, these guys have been on uh, what's it called Shark Tank and uh, why not why not support the little guy and it smells and tastes really good whenever you're rubbing ribs season generously. Slight ass seasoning on there. You don't want it to cake on, but you want enough to taste. And this is when I let the palsy take over because I'm shaky anyway. Measure garlic with your heart. Sorry, uh, I, Josh, Josh wanted me to do that. I apologize. Okay. Massage the meats. Make sure you're getting all the seasoning in there. Slather it around. Smack it. Let the meat know that you're in charge. <laughs> and we're gonna season up the bologna. The okay, easiest way that, that I season up the bologna is I just put some stuff in the plate. Just put a little brown sugar down. Brown sugar's good, you can't ever have too much brown sugar. Okay, so take your roll bologna. See all the hash marks. And just roll through those delicious herbs and spices. Get your ends real good. So that you got good coverage. And I realize it's bologna. I know this, but. This is looking like the scene from Ghost. Do you want to come stand behind me? <laughs> oh, my love, my darling, I seasoned bologna for you. Everything's seasoned up, ready to roll. Let's go throw some meat in the smoker. So we're smoking in the garage today because it's piss pouring down the snow. So we got a fan set up so it takes all the smoke out. Um, we're going to be smoking everything at 220 degrees in a electric smoker. I've already got my timer set. The smoker's preheated. We're using peach wood. I'll go ahead and load up my smoker here. It's already preheated. Let's 
go for four hours, 220 degrees. Don't you dare open up that smoker. Roasted red potatoes. Uh, you're gonna use red potatoes, Roma tomatoes, and a sweet onion. Just rough cut your potatoes. Throw them in a uh, sprayed down pan. Layer on your onions, and then your tomatoes on top. Just dicing up an onion to uh, run the potatoes. So after you've diced up your onions, throw them in your potatoes, mix them around real good, and then you can start layering on your Roman tomatoes. A little salt and pepper liberally. And then I like to hit it with a little bit of garlic powder, and then just add a little bit of garlic. Not a lot, just because garlic makes everything better. And then, you are gonna hit these things with some butter. And I say some butter. Hey y'all, I'm Paula Dane. <laughs> basically what these potatoes are gonna do oil and butter. Edges are going to get all nice and brown. You have those little crispy pieces near the edges. So, once you put your butter on, you're going to bake it at 425 for like an hour and a half. Now, if you notice that your potatoes and tomatoes aren't getting brown on top when you stir them and your butter isn't boiling, crank it up to 450. So whenever I make greens, I like to use kale. I mean, mustard greens are good, collards are good. I just always grab kale. Um, get your stems out of there. Break your leaves up. So, whenever you're stripping kale, start here on the back where there's no leaves. Make like a little scissor, claw, whatever you want to call it. It just pulls right out. Oh, that's the sauce. You don't get the sauce. You don't have to use barbecue sauce. Dry rub's good too. Um, find the sauce that works for you. I like to make mine and it's pretty good. But I've been working on my recipe for every bit of 20 years. I made some homemade made things. I'm getting ready to make some more. But um, this was just all the little piddly pieces that was left over. This is going to be the base for my greens. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it turned out pretty good. All right, I'm just dicing up bacon for the uh, greens. greens on the stove and two of the squishy bouillon I use chicken put them on medium cover them up let them go Stir the sauce. let's get this meat out of the damn smoker
potatoes. You see they're swimming in butter right here, right? Yeah, you see the butter? So what you do is you take one of these sweet Hawaiian rolls and as if it wasn't a clogged artery enough, but the butter soaks up some of the tomato and then you get the good bite. Vital information just needs you to know. Now, it's time for you.